So Jax WS is really an enhancement and an evolutionary change from the Jax RPC type of an environment. So let's talk about some of the similarities and some of the differences between these two approaches. So first of all, from the similarity perspective, both Jax WS and Jax RPC support uh, the SOAP 1.1 type of a configuration message encoding aspects over the HTTP environment. In addition to that, it also supports the same version of WSDL that JAX RPC supports. So the ability to uh, construct messages and to define different sets of services and transmit those, uh, it supports those two different sets of models. Now, as far as the differences go between these particular types, I want to talk about some of the different types of components. So first of all, with JAXWS, there's a new version of SOAP 1.2 that's out there that's only supported by the uh, JAXWS environment. Also, JAXRPC was mapping to Java version 1.4, while the JAXWS takes advantage of some of the new efficiencies and the annotation aspects of the Java 5 environment. In addition to that, the mapping model is going to be different. So JAXRPC had its own data mapping model. And that data mapping model mapped to a lot of the schema types, but didn't cover all of the available schema types that we could have out there. So it had its own somewhat uh, proprietary type of model. When we think about JAXWS, we're using the JAXB type of an environment to map all of our XML types. So we're removing the, uh, the uh, proprietary aspects of mapping information like we had in the JAXRPC run with the JAXWS. So this is a big advantage. It also has a couple of different types of client dynamic models that are going to be in, in invoked here. One of them is this message-oriented functionality concept. So in this particular realm, what we're thinking about here is we're trying to divorce ourselves from having to deal with uh, message processing aspects. So again, this is part of what JAXB is going to do for us. In addition to that, we have some dynamic asynchronous functionality that's going to be new and modified in the JAXWS realm. So we have, we have some new interactive models here. Again, not affecting us from the programming perspective, but affecting us from the messaging point of view and how messages are structured, how messages are sent, and how messages are handled. But not really any, uh, any uh, uh, automatic types of changes that we're going to see from the programming perspective. 